Have you ever wondered how boats are able to float? Well, today we're going to be telling you how cardboard boats are able to float, which seems kind of impossible considering that cardboard gets soggy. Here's the physics behind a successful cardboard boat. Let's start by looking at Archimedes' buoyancy principle, which states that any body completely or partially submerged in a fluid is acted on by an upward or buoyant force, whose magnitude is equal to the weight of the fluid displaced by the body. Another important aspect of buoyancy to take into account when trying to float a boat is volume, because a submerged object displaces a volume of fluid equal to its own volume. Let's apply this to building a successful cardboard boat. The boat needs to have a large volume while also keeping a density less than the liquid supporting it. The boat needs a great volume so it can displace an equally great amount of water, allowing a larger buoyancy force to act on the boat. In order for the cardboard boat to float, the boat must have a smaller density than the water. This allows the water to apply a greater upward buoyant force on the boat than the boat's downward force on the water. Now, let's look at the shape of an ideal cardboard boat. Creating a boat with a flat bottom gives your boat the best balance because it allows the mass to be able to spread out evenly over a greater surface area. Because of the recommended flat bottom hole design, a boat loses an important quality. A flat hole is not ideal for the agility of a boat. To compensate, we gave our boat a pointed front that is raised at an angle to give it that additional speed that was lost in the compromise for a sturdy flat hull. By building the boat with a triangular front, the water resistance or drag force acting on the boat is reduced because the water hits the boat at an angle rather than hitting it head on. This causes a greater portion of the water to flow around the boat, decreasing the water's resistance against the boat's movement. Similarly, angling the front of the boat rather than keeping it flat works to let less water hit the boat head on, allowing it to go faster. Also, if the boat became unbalanced and began to tip forward, this technique would add stability. So now, hopefully you know how to build your own cardboard boat, applying your knowledge of physics and buoyancy and Archimedes principles. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching, watching and, and safe, safe sailing. sailing. Shut up, Mrs. Thrasher! <laughs>